Today we are going to turn any outlet into a smart outlet just by using one of these little things here which are very affordable, super easy to install and in just a few minutes you will be able to control any device plugged into this outlet to turn it on or off just by using your phone, monitor energy consumption and imagine turning on for example a fan during the hot days, switching on a lamp, checking how much energy your toaster or fridge or even microwave is using or even controlling a old radio just by using your phone and you don't need to be here you can be anywhere in the world it's cool let's go for it this isn't a tutorial it's just me sharing my experiences with you so if you don't know what you are doing don't risk yourself we are using electricity it might be dangerous just call a professional so you don't have any risk there are different models as you can see in my hand right over here and also in my other hand right over here each of these will have a different function but i will let you know which one is the appropriate depending on your use case scenario. That being said, let's go for the installation which is really simple and easy to do. After choosing which outlet I want to use, I just need to go to my circuit breaker and turn off the switch for that outlet before touching anything. And in my case, I just make sure that the power is really off by using my tool. Once I'm sure, I just need to remove the outlet and find the live neutral and ground wires. In this particular case, you can see that the outlet is daisy chained to another. So there are two wires for each connector. Now, the wiring is simple. We just need to connect the live wire to the input L on the Shelly and also the neutral wire to the N input to power the Shelly and then a live wire from the O output to the outlet and that's it, simple as this, but probably didn't understand anything because it's not, it's not easy to see on the video. So I'm going to show you an example here on my desk with the Shelly one mini. Now, when we open the outlet, we will find a live wire, which is black or brown. We will find a neutral wire, which is usually blue, and we will find a ground wire, which is yellow and green. And this will depend on the country, but this is what I have here in Portugal. Now, we will need to disconnect the live wire going to the outlets and connect it to the L on the Shelly 1 or Shelly 1 PM. Then we will use a short wire from the O, which is the output on the Shelly, to the outlet terminal where the live wire was. So really simple this step. Next, we just need to connect another wire from the outlet neutrals, which is the N, on the Shelly and that is it. You can see that this is the only change and when the wires are tied, like they are here on my desk, is much much easier to understand than it is me showing you what you have on your outlet. But that's the real thing, that's what you are going to find here. It's just an example so that we can understand how easy it is to do the installation. And this was the hardest part, if there was any. Now I can just put the outlet back and go to my circuit breaker, turn it on, and then I just need to go to the Shelly app and it will automatically detect a new device. And now I can just add it and it's about one minute or so, we are good to go. And now we can turn on and off the outlet from anywhere in the world. And we can also schedule it to turn it on or turn it off in specific days, specific times, plus many other features. Now, which one should I choose? Now, if you just need to turn on and off and schedule your device, then the Shelly One Mini is the way to go. If you just want to measure power consumption, for example, of a fridge, of a washing machine, then the Shelly PM Mini is the way to go, but this one will not turn on or off or schedule anything. If we want to turn on, turn off and measure power consumption, then the Shelly 1PM Mini is the way to go. So these are the differences between these units. But there's something else that we need to pay attention. This one here supports up to 8 amp. At 220 volts is more or less 1750 watts. And the same with the Shelly 1PM Mini. This one right over here, the Shelly PM Mini, supports up to 16 amp 
amps. So if you are going to turn your lights smart, then the eight amps will be more than enough. But if we are going to connect more powerful devices, then I would suggest the regular versions, which will go up to 16 amps each, which is more or less 3,500 watts. And probably you have seen these in some projects that I've shared with you to make our water heater smart so that we can turn on and off, schedule, measure the water temperature and so on. And although on this video I did test out with a toaster, with the air fryer and devices such as those that did went below the 8 amps, what happens is that sometimes I will connect an air fryer and also a toaster which both combined on the same outlet will be superior than the 8 amps. So in those cases I would suggest the 16 amp version so that we are safe and that we can use everything. Connection wise they are all basically the same. The biggest advantage that we see on the regular version is that they have more connections on the live and neutral and here we only have one of each because they are smaller and the advantage on these right over here is that sometimes with the smaller ones we will need to connect connectors such as these to get one extra neutral or one extra live and with the regular versions we don't have that need. Of course the advantage here is the size. They are smaller so easier to put in on our outlets but I've been using these for years in several projects and they fit fine. Hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.